boy was always at the bottom of the class every time exam results came out. How many did you get right? Nine. Nine? Why, Benjamin, that's wonderful. Not nine, Miss Williamson. He got none. Carson lowered his head while his classmates laughed at him. After class, they pushed it even further, joking about him nonstop until he finally snapped and swung a padlock at a boy's face. The principal had no choice but to call Carson's mother, and she promised she would handle it herself. That's when Carson finally opened up about being isolated because of his grades. I'm dumb, mother! No, you ain't. You a smart boy. You just ain't using that smartness. Now, if you keep getting grades like that, you're going to spend the rest of your life mopping floors in a factory, and that ain't the life I want for you. One day, while Carson's mother was cleaning a rich family's home, she looked at shelves packed with books and couldn't help asking about them. Did you read all these books? Most of them. Why? After hearing the homeowner's answer, she suddenly realized that knowledge really could change a person's destiny. When she got home, she immediately turned off the TV and told her sons they had to pick two books from the library every week and write a report about each one. At first, Carson and his brother complained nonstop, but once they found books that interested them, they fell in love with the plan. Soon, they were carrying books around everywhere they went. A month later, Carson ran home excitedly with a test scored an A. His mother, Joe, was thrilled to see him succeed. Not long after, Carson found a black stone on the road and went straight to the library to look it up. Later in class, when the teacher held up a piece of obsidian and asked the students to identify it, no one dared to answer. Carson gathered his courage and raised his hand. All eyes turned to him, and he froze for a moment. Then he recognized it was obsidian and explained how it formed. The teacher was impressed and brought him to the science lab, showing him a whole new world. Watching tiny microorganisms move under the microscope sparked something inside him, planting the seed of a dream that would one day make him a world-famous brain specialist. At his 8th grade graduation, Carson earned an honors certificate for his outstanding grades. His mother was proud, but then the principal stood up. Benjamin is a boy of color. He comes to us with tremendous disadvantages. There's no reason you shouldn't have done better than him. What's wrong with you kids? You should be ashamed. And Joe glared at him, holding back her anger. That day, she decided to use her years of savings to transfer her children to an all-black school. But even there, Carson began caring too much about fitting in. Since his mother could only afford second-hand dress pants, he grabbed a hammer in frustration and almost struck the very woman who worked so hard for him. Thankfully, his brother stopped him just in time. After a huge fight with his mom, Carson went out to the street and got into an argument with his friend. In a burst of rage, he stabbed at him with a knife, but the blade hit his friend's belt buckle preventing anything worse. The incident terrified Carson. He realized how dangerous blind anger could be, so he chose to pick up books again to cleanse his mind. With hard work and discipline, he earned excellent grades, got into medical school during a time of heavy racial discrimination, and eventually became an outstanding neurosurgeon.